Yes, I missed you guys, especially you right there with the cool hair. Can I touch it? Okay. What the fuck? Um, hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I wanted to entertain myself by being Ravon. And what is the best way to be Ravon? Well, I decided, you know what, I do have problems. Lots of them. And today we're going to be discussing one of those problems and it's one that I've honestly been keeping inconspicuous from you guys, alright? I made sure that you guys never see this side of me and that is my floor. The reason I never show you guys my floor and you only see my upper half is because I'm not wearing pants. Just kidding. You guys never see my floor because I like to keep it inconspicuous. Alright, if you ever looked at my floor and thought I need to clean up, stop lying. Well, actually, you're telling the truth because I do need to clean up. How did you know that? But yeah, uh, I put everything in the shopping cart just to clean up. Usually this stuff is all over the floor, but I cleaned up and my room looks really clean right now. So let's keep it that way, honestly, like get out of here. I have been in the process of moving. It's been a really tedious process, bruh. As I was packing things into boxes to move, um, I also realized I have to unpack things out of boxes to move because I have so many packages bombarding my apartment. It's like a mountain of packages out here, bitch. Like Google Maps can probably see it. But yeah, it was just a big self-awareness moment. Like I have all these packages and I wonder who bought them. <laughs> Karen, shut up. All right, you've been talking this whole time, like, girl, tone that frequency down over there. Before I do it myself. Anyways, I did clean up my floor, and it's a little cleaner now. Like, there's only a couple packages, and I put the rest of them in there. So we're gonna be going through these and opening them. I also look really cute, so it's the perfect time to do it. Yes. All right, guys, so this first package has been sitting in my apartment for about, like, four months now. What? I'm gonna be using my Apple Pencil to open these, because have you guys ever felt the tip of these? They're, like, really sharp. Anyways. Bro, what the fuck? There's like 20 things in here. A hot dog toaster. I'm gonna need this later. A potty putter, which is perfect because I need to be entertained while I'm on the toilet or else my poop just gets scared. This is a necessity in life. How else am I gonna use the bathroom by sitting there in silence? <laughs> it's 2023, give me my iPad or my potty putter. So, this is supposed to replace your normal bathroom now. Oh my gosh. Balls. Well, who needs this big of a fucking toilet mat? Me, because I'm playing golf. All right. All right, we got my turf down, and now we need some balls. I guess I should give you guys the full experience, right? Do -do 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 -do. I think this is really entertaining, like. Oh, fuck. What, now what am I supposed to do? That, it's all the way over there. Babe, can you get me some toilet paper and my ball? You know, if I had a husband, that would work. Nobody with a boyfriend would have this. But I'm out of balls to play with. Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Anyways, this is my new favorite thing, I think. Hey guys, we are in my kitchen now because we are testing the hot dog toaster. I figured we would do this one next since it was the next thing I found in the box. We gotta do this in order, in a sequence. And I did not feel like, oh girl, it's ruining my nails. Y'all are in the comments right now. Like, Ravon, that pencil costs more than my life. Like, stop using that. It's because it's like the sharpest non-sharp thing that I have. You know what I mean? Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Anyways, you know what else is sharp? Not these hot dogs. <laughs> no, because hot dogs are round. Um, okay, retro. It's giving me like Johnny Rockets vibes. Guys, honestly, this is a pretty uh, efficient looking device. Like you put the dogs in there and then you put the buns. This unit has a heating element and is during... This unit has a heating element and during the first use, it may appear to smoke for a short period of time. This will stop and does not indicate a defect or hazard. I call them up. I'm like, it blew up. And they're like, oh no, that happens on the first time. It comes with this hash slinging slasher ass thing like... I don't know what this is. And then it comes with some cardboard. We're gonna need that later. When my house is on fire, I need to, you know? All right, should we read the instructions? Obviously not. It's easy, it's a toaster, you do that. This might actually change my life because normally I make hot dogs in the microwave and I know that's really gross, but yeah, that's just what I do. Like I'm very impatient. I don't have time to boil a hot dog. All right, this time we're gonna use an actual knife and not my Apple pencil. All right, hot dog. This is an interesting kind of bun, like it's a patissi bun. Hey guys, welcome back to my cooking tutorial. Um, today's meal is me, cause I'm sexy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna eat these hot dogs. That smelled disgusting. Usually smoke smells like something that you're cooking. That smoke smells straight up like my car is on fire. Girl, can this thing hurry up? Like, making it in the microwave, it's faster. 
Yeah, I said it. Going outside and starting the barbecue and putting this down on the barbecue would be faster. This thing's taking forever. Like, bruh, give me my hot dog. <laughs> it just explodes. This thing is a hazard. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this smells kinda good. <laughs> I'm the type of bitch who likes mustard and relish, so shut up. Yep, that's a hot dog. Round of applause. 10 out of 10. This thing works. It's really cute. Girl, I'm gonna like put this in my room. When I get my new counter in my apartment, just know that this is the first thing I'm putting out on display. Like, yeah, this is my toaster. But it doesn't toast bread, it toasts hot dogs. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? No, worse. It'll go right to your thighs. My thighs? And then you blow up. Hey guys, quick intermission for a water break and to thank today's sponsor, Aerop. Cheers. Oh, you're still not using scent-based taste? <laughs> you make me sick. What is wrong with you? I'll tell you what's wrong with you another time. But for now, let me tell you about this Aero bottle. Aero is the first water bottle where you can experience taste through scent. See, right now, I just have a regular water bottle filled with regular old water. But when I activate the flavor pod like so, suddenly it's a party. Specifically, a cherry-themed one. Currently, I'm using this cherry flavor pod, but they have 15 different other flavor pods that you can choose from today. But let's stop being so selfish. Arab is not just a great gift for yourself, but it's a great gift for anybody else. The holiday season is right around the corner, and you need a last-minute gift. Rebecca, and Arab is the perfect last-minute gift, or just gift for any time of the year, because it is novel and timeless and colorful. Oh, they don't like color? Okay. They also have pitch black and stainless steel. I couldn't find the stainless steel box, but here is a picture of it. So if you guys want to get your hands on an Aero bottle, then now is the time to do it because Aero is having up to 30% off of all orders on their website. This is a limited time deal, so do not miss it, Rebecca. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, do not miss these deals. They are limited time holiday deals. Here are the dates. Don't miss it. And yeah, did I mention not to miss it? Anyways, thank you Aero for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, take it away, babe. Exactly. This next product is one that I bought because of a TikTok ad that was very strange, very strange. but it worked because I, uh, I bought it. <laughs> uh, didn't mean to jump scare you, but I got jump scared, so I had to do it to you too. So yeah, that first part really caught me off guard, but after seeing the second part, it all makes sense now. Well, not really. Uh, even though this ad barely made any sense and honestly made me really confused, it was still very compelling because when I saw that first part, I was like, ow! Who did that? Yo, I saw that bitch on my bike. Come back here and give me something squishy and blue for my butt to sit on. Oh, oh, thanks. Anyways, uh, guess who fell for the ad? Karen. I don't remember buying this. Anyways, it came in this bag, but like, girl, get this out of the bag. Like, that's not what I bought it for. I want the blue squishy thing inside, like. Oh, yeah. It's just one of those things where it's like, wow, I want to put this in my mouth. But we're not here to eat. We just ate a hot dog. We are here to sit. Well, I'm already sitting. But I'm uncomfortable. So, let's go put this on uncomfortable things and see if it is uh, comfortable. So we are in my living room slash dining room slash Jazzy's territory. So we need to respect it at all cost. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, I'm testing out if it's comfy. Um, I like the noise that it makes. Wow, honestly, didn't break my knees. So, so far that's a good sign. This thing is honestly really comfortable. Like. <laughs> Future, future. This past the Squidward in the future test. Everybody give a round of applause. And it's also a great interrogation weapon. Like, what are you looking at? Do you have my money? I didn't think so. Here, you're gonna need this. Cause your ass looks broken. This is great. I'm gonna have no furniture in my apartment in like a couple days. So you know I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be sleeping, eating and Praying on it. Like, girl, when I have a guy over, get on the ground. We're doing it right there. Yeah, pretty comfy. This next ad is one that is probably gonna make you throw up. <gasps> the juice that came out. Girl, that's not even earwax. That's like a piece of her brain. If your ears do look like this, get away from me. Uh! Karen. When's the last time you cleaned your ears? Oh, thank God. Yeah, I saw this video and I was just like, gross. gross. And I almost scrolled to the next part until I realized, wait, what if my ears look like that? I'm here to bring you the truth. Ear cleaner with a camera. 
kind of a stupid name. So, uh, this is what I normally use to clean my ears, cotton swabs. And I know what you're all thinking, Ravon. You look really good. Guys, focus on the swab. I'm not supposed to put these in my ears. In fact, there's actually a warning that says, do not insert swab into ear canal. You're just now telling me? Uh, here's the actual uses for cotton swabs in case you guys were confused. Putting it on your eyelid. Touching it. <laughs> What is she doing? She's literally just touching it like, what in the ET is going on here? Uh, cleaning your baby's toe with it. Obviously, like, how else are you gonna clean your baby's toe? I don't know, dump them in that bathtub like the rest of us. This is bad parenting if you're cleaning your baby like this with one single Q-tip. So it comes with this little wand, it comes with a charger. Okay, um, okay, we have to download the app. Um, y'all, it has literally two stars. App does exactly what it says. However, it also asks for more access to your device and home network. I believe this to be a data miner. They're gonna find my address. Good thing I'm moving. I guess it's a data miner. Um, that's illegal, babe. I love how you also only have to be four years old to use this. Don't give Don't this give to a four-year-old. Um, all right, here's my earlobe. I wasn't kidding when I said you guys were gonna see a new side of me today. Um, the inside. Uh, okay, so there's nothing here. Well. I guess it worked. My ears are clean. All right, this one's a little more dirty. I'm scared I'm gonna stab my ear. Let's go a little deeper. Is that my brain? It's kind of big over there. Looks pretty clean, Um, unless my brain over there needs a scrubbing, but she looks fine and clean, so I'm gonna get out of here. Girl, I guess I'm all up to date with my ear waxing removals. Uh, my ear kind of hurts though. No internet connection. It's not even a good hotspot. Girl, what's the point of this? I'm gonna rate this a 2 out of 10 because I don't see how using this over a Q-tip is any better. This is literally a knife for your brain. Straight up, like, they could have made it any sharper. And the fact that you only have to be 4 years old to use this, there's gonna be a 4 year old that ends up on the news after killing somebody with one of these. So next product that I got, there's just a lot of things. I'll just pick something up off the floor. Now, how about these? I got these lazy readers. That's kind of fun, right? Oh, bro. So I actually got these because I truly wanted to experience what these glasses were like. So you can look straight. Oh! But you're actually gay. No, I'm kidding. But you can see down. But you're looking straight. But like it's down. But like I'm confused. Where am I? I think these are like making my depression worse because all I see is down. And like you gotta keep your head up. Hey. This is what he meant when he said you gotta keep your head up. All these glasses help me do is realize I need to sweep my floor because I've never looked at my floor this much, honestly. Like, I didn't even know my wood was this color. I, I, I'm Mama D in that order. I call him Daddy Like Daughter. <laughs> Next product, I don't even know. Like, I'm surrounded. You guys don't understand. Like, my floor is kind of just scary right now. If you did not know the context, this would not look good. This looks really bad. This next thing that I got in the mail is something that I got simply to be more sexy. And I know what you're thinking, Ravon, that's impossible. Guys, stop. I think there's always room for more. And one thing I do kind of struggle with is my posture. I'm like very unaware of my posture most of the time. Like usually I just kind of look like a fucking Neanderthal bitch, like. <laughs> anyway, so you know where I'm getting at. Um, This next product is something to fix my sea bag. Neck hump. Yes. Try Absolutely. All right, uh, so this is it. I don't know what the hell this is. Where's the one in the ad with the freaking pocket inserts on the back? No inserts. Let me start off by saying this. This is not the same one from the ad. This is like made out of literally a piece of paper. Like that's how thin this is in low quality. It doesn't even say Trimze on it. That's what the brand was called, Trimze. I'm gonna give this company the benefit of the doubt and just say like, maybe they forgot to, uh, Make this Make product good. Product. And that's okay, you know, I'm, I can have a little bit of grace. Okay, it's on. And I'm pretty sure I did it the right way. Like, look. I'm not even trying to have good posture right now. Like, I'm trying to let this thing do all the work. So far, I look like I haven't evolved in 200,000 years. Like, why do I look like this? Makes a great necklace, doesn't it? Because that's all this is. The Velcro on this is so weak. All right, the grip. Weaker than my grip on life. Maybe this was worth $30 because yeah, it doesn't work. And yeah, it doesn't hold your posture together. And yeah, it doesn't yeah, do anything that's advertised to do. But you know what? Now I have a little bit more self-awareness and now I can just do this. But was it worth $30 now? 10 out of 10. If the purpose of this was to piss me off, it worked. Because this purpose was to make my back straight and look at my back. Still sucking dick. But it makes a good scarf. Only good use for this is that it's a great scarf if you squint your eyes really hard or maybe you just can't see at all. Catch this in the Balenciaga Fashion Show's 2025. POV, I'm at a Balenciaga Fashion Show. You 
know Balenciaga is gonna have this in their fashion shows. You know why? Because this thing would be found in a trash can where they get the rest of their clothes. <laughs> Next product I want to try is this speaker because this is the anything speaker and anything's possible with this. Well, actually only like one thing and that's making anything into a speaker. Fun fact, I actually bought this product before, but it was like a different name. It was like made for my shower and then that one broke like instantly. But actually this one does feel a little more stable, a little more sturdy. Hey, he's sturdy with it. Hey. But yeah, this one does feel a little bit better and it comes with this card that says, thank you for supporting my small business. This is a small business. Girl, why do I feel like this is like a stock photo of some random girl? So let's just turn this shit on. This sounds like my brain trying to process information. Uh, we're gonna test this out on Karen. Karen, unfortunately, is not gonna be able to hear it because she doesn't have earlobes. Oh. Aw. Put yourself to use. <laughs> Maybe I should. Stop. I'm not playing anything. What is it doing? Lindsay, I didn't mean it. Lindsay, I was kidding. Oh, there we go. Woo! That was really close. I don't know why it was buzzing like that. Sending me into the Tesseract, bitch. Like, I, that would sound like a black hole. All right, what can be a speaker? Why are you guys angled like that? You're making me look stupid. Smack a bitch today. Thank God I had to smack that bitch today. Final review of this thing. I like it. All right. There's a lot of good uses for it, like making things a speaker. And I'm sure a bunch of other things, like when your man talks too much. Wow. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up right here because I don't feel like going through all my packages. So if you guys want a part two, then comment down below that we want a part two. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the new year. Um, That's probably the next time I'm gonna see you. So peace, love, give your family a hug for me and slap your sister. Oh, <laughs>